Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I built my aquaponics system using three 275 gallon tote tanks, uh, 3 8 round gravel, a little giant water pump, and basic PVC pipe that you could find at your local home improvement store. So if you want to know more about that, I'll tell you all about it coming up next. So what we have here is my aquaponics system. I wanted to get a before and after shot of what's going on here. This is about five years of me having this aquaponic system. I haven't really done much with it. Inside there, there's goldfish, a bunch of goldfish and koi. Uh, every year, these tomatoes come back from the seeds, so those are starting to overgrow. The chives have been there for quite a few years. Last year, we planted these mint here, and we've been hacking it down. And it just keeps continuing to grow and grow, so. I'm going to chop that down to narrow that down a lot. Here's the drop tank right here where everything feeds into. That's what it looks like right now. But mainly what happens here, after years of not maintaining them properly, they get all... This is because there was tomatoes in here last year. You can see it just gets all nastied out. So, and the drain's actually underneath here down in here so this is what this one looks like the tomatoes like I said are already starting to overgrow so what I'll probably end up doing is pulling some of them transplanting them and then the rest usually end up to, with the chickens over there so yeah, this is what it looks like as of now Here's an example, I don't know if you can see it, but all the water is just coming in from there. I've just been shoveling it out and see there's no water flow at all coming from over here. This whole area is like clogged up. So yeah, right now it's coming in from right there. It's just an example of how it doesn't flow properly if you don't keep it cleaned. So this is what it looks like underneath at the bottom of the aquaponics bed. It's basically just a three-quarter PVC which slides into here. This basically gives you the level of where the water is going to drain. Wherever that's at, the water is going to come over here. This is the auto siphon, so it basically just floods over that. Well, it's like this, but floods over that this creates a siphon with that in there and then once the water drains to this level here it creates air which lets it break the suction so this is the water level going to stop right there once it break the suction and then it'll just restart filling again so that's the insides of one of these basically that level and the siphon so now I'm going to fill this back up with a rock. This is a 3 8 gravel. It's a lot easier to work with. And um, yeah, I just cleaned the whole system out. It, it was just really nasty after five years of um, fish poop and not cycling very good. All the roots, what happens is the roots from like the tomatoes. I had cherry tomatoes growing in here. Here's some that were actually in there. These cherry tomatoes, um, the roots will build up and just clog the whole system and the water won't even flow. These are actually from last year and these are last year. I just pulled out the roots there and retransplanted them. So I wanted to show here 
how easy it is to plant with these and uh, probably give you an idea of how this works here so what's going on here we've got here's the main tank the fish here's the water coming in uh, there's a pump down at the sump tank down there and then it gravity feeds through I don't know if you can see that there do this right here comes out there um, this is an inch and a half at the time when I did this I kind of used what I had so I, if I did it I'd probably do it better nowadays but at the time I was kind of just throwing, putting together with what I had so here's the water coming in and then coming into the other tank here and my roosters and my chickens going a little wild out there so here's what it looks like underneath here's the pump I've got it it's a little giant this thing has worked forever I've had it dry out and thought it was broke and then it just keeps coming back to life so this little giant's kind of small but it's been doing the job for five years even through winters here's one about the drain here anyway this tank's about to drop so let me show you how it works this is this tank here so as you can see the water is to that level there and what this does this is a siphon valve uh, all you better see right now it'll just keep overflowing like so until I put this in there and what this does is creates a vacuum which pulls the water into there creating that vacuum suction and the suction will be released once it gets to whatever level you put it at so there's better details elsewhere but I uh, learned from an Australian guy I can't remember his name at the moment anyway so drop that in there and watch what happens actually let's swap over here I want to drop this in here and create a vacuum and there you go draining so that's going to drain until it hits that one point and if we dig down here you can see the water so easy to work with this light rock like this just dig a hole like that real fun much better than that other stuff the rock hasn't quite cleaned itself I also wanted to show a quick here uh, how easy it is to plant something you could do it one handed while recording pretty much just dig your hole pull your plant out figure out where you want it to go check the level and just drop those rocks back in there Boom, done. Now these over here are just little uh, lettuces I started. I'll show you in a second. These are, I just put these in. They'll start growing here pretty soon. These things are gonna like the lettuce and the herbs and whatnot. Uh, this is an Armenian cucumber. I was gonna stick in the ground real quick. because I can't figure out where to put it. They're dying outside in the dirt for some reason. I'm having some issues. Bought those just to get a little head start. I usually grow from seed, which I'll show you in a second here. So, over here. This is where this is how I started them this year. I pretty much just put them all in here. I've got your Roma tomatoes, iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, celery Brussels sprouts, which didn't sprout. The cucumbers came out. These are Apple English cucumbers, serpent something, serpent. Ooh, those other ones must have been Armenian, so I must have screwed that up. Ooh, I did screw that up. Ah, dang it. Anyway, spinach, cilantro, parsley, sugar baby, black tail. Honey rock. These are watermelons, honey, cantaloupes, some sweet tomatoes, tomatoes I need to get in the soil. These are all the cucumbers that were, these are all the cucumbers here that were in there. So I'll get them a little bigger and established and then the soil will be ready outside in the garden, which I'll show in a second and then I'll transplant them into there. Yeah, this is my aquaponics. I think this is a 275 gallon tote tank. I'd probably go with a 300. 
nowadays. So here's how big the fish have gotten. Most of these are the originals from when I first did my original video in 2011. So those two giant kois in there, well those are kois. Most of them are goldfish, the monster ones you see are the kois, like that one coming up. Koi. They get big. Especially when you feed them like three or four or five times a day. It's my kois and all that noise you're hearing over there. It's my chickens going crazy. And this is my greenhouse. It's a 9 by 40 added on to my house here. So, keeps the house warm in the cool times and good for growing in the early springtime. So there's that. I'm gonna go check out the garden just to show where I'm gonna transplant the stuff. And then I'll be having some good garden videos later. Here's a lock down to the garden. I'm making some future videos of this. I always say I'm behind every year. I don't know if I'm behind or not. I always feel like I'm behind. Some of, a lot of this bigger stuff you're gonna see here was the tomatoes. I bought these at a nursery. Get a little head start, but I did start some seed. There's a rosemary. Onions from last year. Green chilies, green peppers. Watermelons I just stuck in this year. And these are the ones that... See, these were inside the greenhouse, and these are outside. And as you can see, it's just been too dry. We got some rain yesterday. Here's my goats. And yeah, this is what the garden looks like as of right now. But I'll be making future videos all throughout the year of how that grows. It's all run off water from inside the house there. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna be it for my aquaponics video. So. Alright everyone, that's it for now. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more off-the-grid ideas like this one, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see, and if you got any questions or ideas for new videos, let me know. I'll be making more videos more consistently now. And so yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.